All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be recapping what I can say with 100% certainty is the greatest, the luckiest celebration I have ever been a part of since I started playing Dokkan about four years ago. And it's probably going to remain that way forever because honestly, I don't really see myself getting that lucky again, whether it's in Dokkan or in real life. I mean, I'm talking about over 30 LRs pulled, uh, I think four or five LRs rainbowed. And for the first time in my Dokkan career, I kind of, I kind of thought that maybe there was some truth to the whole YouTuber rates meme, you know, the whole idea that content creators get better rates and summons than the average player. I mean, I've never been one to believe in conspiracy theories and stuff like that, but it's just the timing of the luck was pretty suspicious, you know? Like, as soon as we hit 100,000 subs, uh, we started pulling mad fire in almost every single video. And at first, when it happened, I, I made a joke, right? I was like, yo, maybe 100k subs is when the YouTuber rates activate. It's when, you know, Bandai actually notices your account and gives you the preferred rates. And then over time, as we did more summons, as I made more videos, it became less and less of a joke and more just reality, you know? I mean, obviously, I still don't really, really believe it. I, I don't think that there's any special preferences or special treatment given the content creators as far as summons go, but you gotta admit, man, the timing was kind of, kind of suspicious. Anyways, anyways, like I said, we're doing a uh, recap today. We're doing a breakdown of the fifth anniversary summons for your boy Tiger. If you guys are interested in just seeing, you know, um, what the summon results were for each of the videos from the first one to the last one, then feel free to keep watching. If not, if that's something that doesn't interest you, then it's totally fine. Feel free to click off the video. But uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And I actually have to use my phone here because there's so many videos. I didn't realize how many sums I did during the celebration that uh, in order to keep track of everything, I will have to look at this list on my phone. Okay, so it all started in part one, of course, with the dual Dokkan Fest. As soon as the banners dropped, I was live with a stream with my girl Taya, or Android18 as you guys know her as. And uh, we actually did a whole lot of summons on that stream, man. I didn't remember but I spent over a thousand stones. It was exactly 1,120 stones. But the thing is, that stream was actually going really, really bad until near the end where we hit a hundred thousand subs on stream. So before that, I did about a thousand stones, didn't pull anything, man. I mean, actually that's not true. We did pull a couple of AGL LR Gohans, but I didn't have a single Gogeta or Vegito in about a thousand stones, which is a lot of summons considering there's the three plus one and there's also the free tickets too, right? So we did a lot of summons, wasn't pulling Gogeta or Vegito, but then on stream, we hit a hundred thousand subs, we celebrated a little bit, and then I did another multi, and we got, oh, was it? Oh, it was Beerus and Whis. It was Beerus and Whis. So we got the rewind animation and I got my first LR Vegito. Right, so like I said, the timing was just kind of weird um, for when the, the, the luck activated. So we got our first Vegito, and in that stream I also pulled three AGL LR Gohans, and those were my first copies because as you guys know, I did not have a single one before the celebration because I had really bad luck during the last download celebration. It was 3,000 stones without a single AGL Gohan, so that was also really nice. It was a nice like redemption for last year, but uh, in total, 1120 stones spent, four LRs pulled, one Vegito, three AGL Gohans, and uh, that was the first stream and that was the beginning. Okay, so after that, I recorded a five way collab with a bunch of global mains. It was me, D Monty, Toon Rami, uh, my boy O the Hermanity, and the homie Goresh, and we each spent 500 stones in that collab across five videos. And I don't think I pulled anything too exciting in that one, actually. Um, I did pull a couple of Fizz Gogetas, I believe, and also a dupe I needed for the Int LR Vegito, so the three-year LRs. But obviously, um, I was going for 
a blue Gogeta or blue Bedito. Didn't get either of those. But, uh, you know, still a couple of LRs pulled, but not the best luck. I do actually attribute that, though, to Goresh stealing my luck in that collab, because this guy pulled, like, three LR Vegitos. So, yeah, I'm just gonna blame Goresh for that one and uh, count that as a outlier. So, after that, um, at this point, we're still uh, LR Blue gogeta list. I have one Vegito, but no Gogetas, so I decided to bring my Lucky Charm, my little bro Phoenix, into a video for some summons, and we spent 350 stones together in that video, and pulled my first LR Blue Gogeta. Okay, so at this point, we have a 55% LR Blue Gogeta, a 55% LR Vegito Blue, and also a 79% AGL LR Gohan. So from there, I decided to buy all of those uh, Pilos Trove Double God Packs with all the tickets. I mean, honestly, they were pretty decent deals for the amount of summons you were getting in tickets. So I grabbed all of those, and uh, with the tickets, I actually didn't pull Gogeta or Vegito, but we did get another AGL LR Gohan, so that put my Gohan at 90%. And uh, from there, I was like, you know what, man, I don't want to leave this video without at least trying to pull another copy of the new LRs. So I decided to do a full round on the Vegito banner and pulled another LR Vegito. So at this point, we had a 69% LR Vegito Blue and a 90% AGL LR Gohan. In that video, I was actually super tempted to summon again for the final dupe for Gohan, or maybe buy him from the Baba shop. But ultimately, I decided to hold off because I was pretty sure I was gonna do one more video. So yeah, we didn't do that. And then uh, from there, the fifth video I did for these banners was a top grossing video. So we got the uh, top grossing rewards for the Dual Dokkan Fest. Everybody got 100 stones for free. So in the video, I spent 100 stones, which were my top grossing stones. And uh, we actually did pull an LR, but it wasn't an LR that I wanted. It was another Fizz LR Gogeta, who has been rainbowed since the three-year anniversary. So that's another LR pulled, but obviously not uh, terribly exciting there. So video number six was a really fun collab. Actually, it was a fun concept, but not really fun in practice because it was very, very painful. It was the Chili Pepper Dual Summon Challenge that I did with my boy. Uh, over the Hermanity, and in that video, we spent 150 each for, for each part, so 300 stones in total, and I don't remember pulling anything worth noting in that collab, maybe a Fizz LR Gogeta, I remember pulling quite a few Fizz LR Gogetas, but uh, not a Vegito Blue, not a Blue Gogeta, so basically we experienced a ton of pain, put ourselves through a lot of uh, agony for nothing but uh, in the end it was fun so there was that and then uh, video number seven was a dual summon I did with my thumbnail guy Narratus. He actually also put together the thumbnail for this video as well as most of my videos for the last like two months or three months or so and uh, he's a super talented dude. Um, he also has his own channel. It's called Narratus Gacha. I'll put a link either uh, above my head or in the description down below so make sure you guys Go check him out. But uh, yeah, that video went pretty well because we spent 250 stones and I pulled my first dupe for LR Blue Gogeta. So it was 69% uh, LR Gogeta at the time. And then from there, I did my first final LR Vegito Blue Summon. The first of, I believe, three final videos I did. And we pulled two LR Vegitos in that video. I think one was on a Zeno animation, the other one was on a Goku Black Rift. And honestly, man, if I had only pulled one or didn't pull any in that video, I probably would have stopped, right? Like at that point, I would have been like, okay, I spent a lot of stones already. I should save up for part two. So if I hadn't gotten lucky in that video like that, like if even if I only pulled one, right, instead of two, I probably would have stopped. But we pulled two, and at this point, my Vegito was at 90%. And I was like, I can't just stop here, right? 90% Vegito, there's no way I can, you know, not give it a shot. So, uh, oh, by the way, so we got a 90% Vegito. We also uh, rainbowed Gohan by purchasing the final dupe in the Baba shop. So Gohan at this point was at 100%, which if you think about it was kind of dumb 
because if I was going to go back into the banner, then there was a decent chance I was going to pull another Gohan to rainbow him anyways. So I don't know why in the moment I was like, I really want a rainbow Gohan, so I bought the dupe. I spent 500 coins and I would have been so sad if I pulled another Gohan, like an like a extra useless dupe, because that would have just been like 500 red coins down the drain, right? But luckily that didn't happen, so we rainbowed Gohan through the Baba Shop, and then I did my second final LR Vegito summon, and uh, in that video I just did one full round, 150 stones, pulled the last Vegito, rainbowed him, and we were done with that banner. I was out, okay? And luckily, like I said, we didn't pull the last copy, or, or an extra dupe, rather, of AGL LR Gohan, because that would have been just so sad. That, I, I, I would not have been able to forgive myself, so I'm glad that didn't happen, and that was the ninth video. Now, in total, we actually did 19 videos throughout the entire celebration for part one and part two, so still quite a few to go, okay? So we got uh, Vegito Rainbowed on the ninth video, and then for video number 10, I did my first final LR Blue Gogeta summon. I uh, only did 150 stones, one full round, pulled one Gogeta, as well as another int LR Cell. And at this point, Gogeta was at 79% with two dupes, and Cell was actually at 90%. And I was pretty sure that I was good to go. Now, I was pretty sure that I could just be happy with 100% Vegito a 79% Gogeta, but um, certain things happened. I mean, a big part of why I kept going was actually because I did a raid of Scott, Older Humanity, and uh, as soon as I popped into his stream, I saw he was summoning, and literally like five seconds later, this dude gets a uh, Whis rewind animation and pulls a Gogeta in my face as I was raiding him. So that kind of triggered me, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of really, I don't know, set something off in my brain, and I was like, okay, it's a sign. This is a sign. We gotta go back in. We gotta try one more time. So I did my second final El Arco Gita summon, and this time we spent uh, 300 stones. So two full rounds, pulled one Gogeta, and also another Cell. But hold on. Did I pull Cell back to back in two videos? I think I did, actually. Maybe. Anyways, somehow Cell was 100%, I think it was in this video, and uh, we pulled another Gogeta, so now he's at 90%, there's no way I was gonna stop now, right, like, we're just too close, alright, we're, we're, we're in too deep, we're too close to getting that rainbow, so I did my final, final, final LR Blue Gogeta summon, this time it took 450 stones, pulled that last Gogeta, Gogeta, and Vegito were both at 100% in the hidden potential system, and uh, we were done with the part one banners. Okay, so in total, it took 12 videos. Yeah, 12 videos from the day that the videos or the banners dropped to the day that I rainbowed them, and I think it was around probably like 4,000 stones, but you gotta keep in mind actually that over a thousand of those or before I hit 100,000 subs. So if you only count the summons after 100k, it was about 3,000 stones, rainbowed both, rainbowed Gohan from 0%, rainbowed uh, Int Vegito, rainbowed Int LR Cell. Um, it was just a lot of crazy pulls back to back to back to back, man. And I think it was around this time that people really started to believe that there was something weird going on with my account um, after hitting 100k subs, because here's the thing, if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, I'm actually known as the guy, like out of all the content creators, that gets shafted the most often, you know, like generally speaking, my luck in this game is pretty bad, right? So to see me just pull these Gogetas and Vegetos and Gohan and so on and so forth, back to back to back like that, is really weird, you know, it's a very, uh, very uncharacteristic of my luck, right? So there was definitely something weird going on. I don't want to say YouTuber raids or anything like that, but it just didn't make a lot of sense given my track record. Um, but maybe if, you know, the luck had stopped there, maybe if, you know, in part two I got completely screwed, then it would have just died, right? But 
that didn't quite happen. And when the part two banner dropped with the Rose and Broly, I was planning to do a bit of a longer stream, you know, spend some more stones. I had like 350 at the time and uh, I was gonna buy more stones if I couldn't pull them. But as it turns out in those 350 stones in seven multis, got Broly and got Rose. So we got both LRs in that first stream. It ended up only being like a 15 minute stream cause I was like, I should probably stop, right? I should just like save up for the download celebration after this. But of course, it didn't work out like that. So we did that first stream, pulled both, and then um, I decided to do an off-camera multi just for fun because I was bored. And uh, I pulled another rosé. So we had a 69% rosé now from that off-camera multi. So on the stream we did 350, off-camera, one more multi, another 50. So with 400 stones, I had a 55% Broly, 69% rosé. So uh, obviously, I had to keep going. Oh, uh, I think after that we had the top grossing stones from the uh, part two banner. I think only got like, was it like 14 stones and like that? Nothing crazy, but it still got me to do another multi. So in the video, I did a multi, didn't pull Rose or Broly, but did pull an LR. We got a Gumku or a Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. So he was at 79% now. And then from there, I did another summoning video just by myself because uh, I felt like the banner was treating me so nicely that I had to you know, try one more time, right? Give it another crack. So uh, 400 stones in that one, got a Rose, Killing Khalifla, as well as a LR Nappa. So three LRs, was it three or four? I think I also pulled a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Or maybe that was another video. I'm confused now. Either way, we pulled at least three LRs in that one, 400 stones, 79% Rosé, 69% Killing Khalifla, and uh, my first LR Vegeta and Nappa. So that was pretty awesome. And of course, that prompted me to do another off camera multi. And I pulled another Hint LR Rosé. So that was Rosé number four. That was a 90% Rosé now. And uh, as you guys know, man, there was no way I was going to leave the celebration with a 90% rosé. So we went back in one more time and um, spent, what, 250 stones, so five Maltese. Got a Beerus first, then got a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and then got my final rosé. So 250 stones, rainbowed rosé, rainbowed LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, because that, that was the last dupe I needed and also got my LR Beerus to 90%. And uh, the funny thing is, I actually didn't pull another Broly after that. Like after the initial video where I got my first Broly, I got four more Rosés and got him rainbowed, but I didn't pull another Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo the entire time, which is fine, I'm not complaining. Like I'd rather have a rainbow Rosé to be honest, but uh, it's kind of weird that since they both have the same rates, I didn't pull another Broly, but it's okay, like I said, I don't mind. So uh, that ended my summons for the five year anniversary because I was like, man, if I go back in, like I did want more dupes for Broly, trust me. And I had some friends that were egging me on. They were like, yo, you only have a 55% Broly? Like, you gotta be ashamed of yourself, man. I was like, I am, I know. I had rainbowed every other LR in the celebration, but my Broly was at 55%. Like that's, that's shameful, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I was tempted. I was tempted, but I was like, I can't do it because Rosé's on the banner. If I pulled another Rosé, that would just suck so bad. So I decided to stop there. Um, a few extra summons were, of course, the guaranteed LR banner. So we got uh, an Int LR Gohan on my 200 stone summon, which was actually like literally the worst pull. But this was before, of course, I hit 100K. So that it's fine, right? And then um, after for the 55 unit ticket multi, I got an LR Beerus, which was at the time my second dupe. Now he has three dupes, but at that time it was my second dupe. And I honestly wasn't that upset about it because I was like, at least it's an LR I can use as opposed to into LR Gohan or STR LR Broly. So um, yeah, I didn't mind it too much, but that pretty much covers it for the 19 different summoning sessions, two off camera multis, which both gave me an LR Rosé and then 17 summoning videos. So in total, if you guys want a final count of all the 
different LRs pulled as well as the stones. Uh, let's start with the LRs first. Okay, so we got five LR Blue Gogetas, got five LR Vegito Blues, got five Int LR Roses, uh, one LR Broly Chili and Lemo. I know, I know. Just don't make fun of me too much. And uh, we got four AGL LR Gohans, because one was from the Baba Shop, but he is rainbowed. And uh, three Int LR Cells, two Int LR Vegitos, four Fizz LR Gogetas, two LR Beeruses, one Kaelin Califla, one Super Saiyan 3 Goku, one LR Nappa and Vegeta, one LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku or LR Gumku, and another Int LR Gohan, which I think was enough to rainbow my second one, or maybe start on my third one, which obviously I'm not gonna do, but yeah, uh, wasn't too happy about that. But overall, you add everything up, that was 36 LRs pulled, and a grand total of 5,620 stones. I didn't actually realize I had spent that many stones during the celebration, because before it started, people were asking me, yo, Tiger, how many stones are you gonna spend? I was like, I'm probably gonna spend a good amount, but I don't know, like maybe 2,000 or so, nothing too crazy. And we ended up spending over 5k, so I'm definitely expecting a lot of tickets once the download celebration starts, because uh, that alone is like over 100 tickets, right? Wait, yes, over 100 tickets. So yeah, 5,620, but you gotta take into account the fact that about a thousand of those were before the channel hit 100k. So if you only want to count the 100k YouTuber rates luck, then it was about 4,600 stones, 4,600. And if you divide that by 36 LRs pulled, it was about 128 stones spent per LR, which, I mean, is just ridiculous rates right there, man. If you, you know, are talking about a normal banner, that's about two and a half multis for every LR. Obviously, we did more than that because there were the discounts and the tickets and all that stuff, but still, 128 Dragon Stones per LR pulled during the celebration. Just craziness, man, just craziness. Like I said, I don't really expect to get this lucky ever again, but uh, I will always remember the fifth anniversary on Global fondly because it was a crazy time. It was a really fun time, it was probably some of the most fun I've had, at least the summoning in Dokkan. And uh, the channel also experienced some mad growth during this time too. Obviously, we hit 100k, but right now we are um, you know, close to 110k subs, so Canon's going really well. A lot of new members in the Tiger Squad, so not only were the summons great, but uh, we also added a lot more people to our you know, small little family here. And uh, I appreciate you guys, man, for, for tuning into the videos, for supporting your boy. And uh, that is today's recap. I hope nobody takes this as me, like, flexing my polls or anything like that, because that's not really the intention. I just kind of wanted to give people who cared about my progression in this game and in my account a, uh, you know, quick little review of everything that happened. And just, like, have this video on the channel to remember this time, this anomaly, you know, in the channel's history. So... Uh, that's it guys. That's all I gotta say um, The 350 million download celebration is right around the corner. So definitely a lot more coverage coming for that and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video man Even though the five-year anniversary is a thing of the past now if you guys want to flex your summons um, In the comments down below feel free to go ahead and do that I'm sure some of you guys had even better luck than I did which is totally fine I'm okay with that because I think that we should all you know, celebrate our accomplishments together. And if you, you know, ended up getting shafted, you didn't pull the Gogeta or the Vegito, or it took you a lot of stones to get them, then uh, feel free to let us know as well so we can sympathize with you, right? So that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.